Hey guys and welcome to a new video about SXA. In this video I'm going to show you a creative way of setting up a test for testing your layout. So not a content test but a layout. And what we're going to do is we are going to test the, the effect and difference between the a promo and I have two variants here so this is the default one and the second one has an image and uh, a link and a title um, and by default you will have to create new renderings to test the layout so when I'm going to this component and I'm going to test the component um, and I say enable variation of component design um, I can select the content but I'm all I can also select the component design and in here I have to select new rendering and I don't do not want that I want to be able as a marketer to quickly test the layout um, so I'm going to do something creative um, it's not the best way to do it but you can quickly test some layouts without the need of a new rendering and without the need of an SXA specialist or if you don't use SXA with the need of a developer. So what I'm going to do is create, use the HTML component. Um, what I have done is I have created two versions of the uh, promo component with the different renderings and I have copied some of the HTML here that is rendered by SXA. And this is the, as a, the, the HTML that I'm going to use. Um, so I am going to add an HTML component here. I'm going to use the plain HTML. Um, I'm going to explain this in a bit why I use this one. Um, and I have a folder with a variant A already. So I'm going to copy that in here. Now, as you can see, it has a, a title and it has a, a link, but it's not styled properly. Um, and that is because of a CSS class that is added to the component, to the outer diff. Um, and to fix that, I have created a style um, that's called promo. And when I add this style, it is rendered exactly the same. So that is pretty cool. Um, this is the basic setup. Um, what I'm going to do now is create um, a layout test and I'm doing that basically by setting up a content test um, and differ the HTML. Um, and why I use the plain HTML component is because there is a bug, an issue um, with content testing uh, with several SXA components. Um, when, when I'm setting up a test um, and I will add a new variation. Um, the data sources to the um, to local data sources uh, is going to be um, set to zero GUID. So there is an issue with setting up content tests uh, by using a local data as data source locations. So when you do it in the data folder. Uh, in here then everything works fine so we're going to create a second one here and we're using that um, I have the original variant A and in here I am going to create a new one so in my folder oh, for some reason I don't have the links here but that's okay we are going to create a new one in here uh, this is the variant B that I want to test so switching back to my HTML, I am copying this HTML which contains the image. Let's not take a look at the HTML. Um, let's try this one more time. Now I have the variant B, so I'm going to select the variant B. And now I have an original which has the content item variant A and a variant Let's call this variant B as well, variant B, with the content item variant B. So please be aware that you are going to test the content, but by using the H reusable HTML component and by uh, differ in HTML, you can test the effect of the layout as well. Um, so 
there are some issues with my local environment that it's not changing here uh, but when I'm going to create a kick test and see it in the front end it will work so I have set up um, a variant and now I'm going to create a test so let's create a test um, uh, as you can see here it shows the variant with the image and the original one is the one without so everything works fine um, what do I have here no variables I want don't want to use a promo I don't want to use plain HTML I only want to use the reusable um, I'm going to set this one to 50% I'm not going to explain this in detail um, and this is okay and I'm going to start the test uh, well, yeah that's okay so I have my test in place and I'm going to publish everything so let's publish this yes and just to be sure I am back to my content editor and I'm going to publish this as well and now I am going when this is published to open an in private browser um, let's do another one and let's see what we end up with so it immediately shows for this user uh, the variant B um, but when I am opening um, let's do a Chrome one um, and in private browser of Chrome and there it is and here is the default one so as you can see it immediately works and I can now um, use the content test with a reusable HTML component to test the effect of the different layout without the need of a custom rendering um, without the need of a developer uh, probably a front developer to help you with the styles um, to make sure that the HTML matches but that's the only one so that's pretty cool um, and I hope it is to any help of you.